This is Zero One Esports, a chance to get one step closer to the main event. Here we go. Let's get things underway. DFH Stadium, Corelli. Zero one, we both went with them. We'll find out if they have what it takes here. And we only have two points of data, but I think taking a game off of KC from zero one and keeping those games close is pretty impressive with the way KC has been playing. They are arguably probably the top team so far from what we've seen. And for zero one to keep it that close, I know it was still a four one loss for them, but to compete with that type of pace is a good start. Maybe zero one can get one on the board here early as Jorius able to push this one downfield for Dig. Now clear out, apparently Jack going for a double tap pass, fakes it to Zonix. Be first to it, light tap, scrub killer to the side. Mossin there, trying to get some support from Ams. Apparently Jack, flip reset ball, saving it to the end. Gil goes for the low 50 and now another 50 from scrub killer. Already we're seeing a battle for possession, but this is a nice setup for Ams. Ams going right for the flip reset, trying to be unpredictable. And it is paying off so far, 0-1, the aggressor. Oh. No oh. boost, couldn't really get the double tap unless it was a perfect hit. He might have been able to get a piece of it there had he not get bumped away, but you're right, it would have been incredible for him to actually reach back to that with no boost. And now, apparently Jack doesn't get a piece of it there. I think he had free reign on it. Austin there to clear it out. Ams beat to the ball. There was a uh -oh. demo off the ball in favor of Dignitas and the fake from Mawson. We're seeing a much more confident 0-1 Esport than we saw play on the main stage. Yeah. I think they got just a little taste of victory against KC. And I don't think Dignitas, why well, no, Dignitas does not play at the same type of pace. And I don't think Dignitas are coming in with a lot of personality here in their gameplay, as we saw from Optic in their series. And so 0-1 certainly taking advantage here. Mustin to push this one off the back wall. And an easy clear there for Scrub. Jorius looking for two, but it's a Zonix. To boom it back downfield. Scrub having to play it off his own back wall. Interesting there from Jorius opting to go for that back wall when he saw Zazonix there defending. Now that shot posting out. Ams with the challenge. Can't do much with zero boost. Zazonix. The boom up to Mawson. Mawson towards the backboard. Awkward ball for Jack. He misses, but Scrub oh, Killer what? tries to bail. Scrub, did he just not see Zazonix? I think he thought he just could have, he could just beat him. But Zazonix, look at what, look at the angle he takes. He took the back boost. So there was no way that ball was getting through him. And it was just given to him in front of the net. And 0-1 Esports on the board first here as we approach halftime. And Zizonix reading Scrub like a buck, really covering that angle because he knows Scrub has to hit it to that corner. He's got to hit it to that corner. Maybe he can go for a dribble, slow play, but it's got to go oh. that direction. And Scrub passed it right to him. And this is where we look for differences in Dignitas. Or rather, maybe the resiliency from them as we didn't get that when they played Optic. Got to find a way to break through here. It's Jorius. That one's going to go wide. Apparently, Jack, very patient. So he'll go all the way back. He's actually getting chased around by Ams all the way up the wall as well. He still gets a piece of it there. Apparently, Jack doing his best as the last man for Dig. Off the ceiling, Scrub. Back to the corner. Apparently, Jack cut off by Ams. Jorius. We'll kick this over to the other corner and has to follow it up because he's got no support there himself. Low boost situation as well. Pressure starting Great to mount. Bomb. There's a bump off the backboard. Oh, Apparently in. Jack can't do anything about it. That has to be heartbreaking for Dignitas. And look at this bump from Zizonix just slams into Joris. And I think apparently Jack, of course, hoping that Joris was going to make the play as he should. But with that bump, created so much confusion for Dignitas and a tap in. I mean, it was going in either way. And 0-1 Esports, 2-0 now. And it, you know, it started when Dignitas was trying to clear it out to the corners. They had no support there. They are struggling to get into the play and kickstart the counter. Now we see some passing. Apparently Jack shot, bar down and in. Dignitas stopped the bleeding. There you go. And you can see Scrub in his face cam landing back into that one. Happy to see that one drop through from his teammates. Jorius combining with apparently Jack. That lateral pass is so strong and well struck there from apparently Jack getting some help from the crossbar. Dignitas able to get one back here. And that's what you want if you're a Dignitas fan, seeing them get back into this game one. Glancing at the clock over 
a minute left. Plenty of time for Dignitas to get back in this one. 0-1 looking to put it out of reach. Scrub quickly back to the ball. Will stay on it. Setting himself up. Has apparently Jack in the middle, but had to stay oh on the play. <laughs> Bit of confusion there for Dignitas and what Scrub was going to do there. Some monster challenge wins there from 0-1 to slow down Dignitas. Here's a chance for Jorius. A hard shot on target. Austin there. Trying to clean it up. Apparently Jack, flip reset, running out of boost, gets the touch. Zonix stops it from going in, but Jorius there, he'll slam it home, and we got ourselves a tie ball oh, game. Jack almost hitting that clip. You saw the demo in net as well. Zonix getting a piece of it, and then it looks like Jorius might have even stolen that corner boost. Oh. Maybe not. However, it had just enough to get back to that ball and put it in. Dignitas roaring back. And that's great work from Dignitas, showing off that mechanic and getting themselves back into this game. I mean, that's the most important part here. It doesn't matter how they do it. And now they want to keep rolling. Apparently, Jack pokes it by the last man's Zonix, racing back, saves it off his back wall. 30 seconds left. Dignitas, certainly oh. momentum in their favor. Second touch is not going to come. The defense from 0-1 able to get out. We're starting to see Dignitas come out of their shell a bit. The play from apparently Jack, the flip reset, double tap that led to a goal Whoa. and almost bouncing off Sazonix and in, but then you even saw Jorius on that play, showing off the mechanics. Wow. Sazonix launching it downfield. Apparently Jack with control and boost. Rolling it off the ceiling. Now back to him. Apparently Jack will keep it airborne. Now Cuts off the up. corner to Scrub. Scrub Ooh. trying to pass that infield. It was on target, but didn't have the height. Now we've got overtime in our first game of the series. Wow, and apparently Jack wins that kickoff hard. Tough spot here for Amps. And Dignitas quickly off the kickoff, almost took away game one here. 0-1, very slowly have been out pressured here as this game has gone on, and Dignitas starting to ramp up. There's some bumps on Sazonix. Apparently Jack pinch play potentially. And it does pinch out. That one I don't think he was looking for. All the way back to Jorius, who launches it over Mostyn. The backflip, no boost for Zizonix. This could be a chance for Dig. Jorius right to net. Lower oh! corner! Jorius sniping that lower <laughs> edge, and they get the win in OT. That's some good vibes there from Dignitas. And Jorius, he's been a shooter here for Dig. And 0-1, they started off so strong but it was really the possession and control that you saw from Dignitas. They really kept the sides really closed off from 0-1. They were never able to break out through the sideline. It was always just lobbed clear straight back in the hands of Dignitas. And they really clamped down once they got into this. They certainly did. I mean, it started out more of, of kind of what we expected. You know, we both predicted 0-1 to, to take this series because of how much Dignitas was struggling. And they were struggling out of the gate. Scrub killer passed it right to Zizonic. Yep. And, and you thought it was all over, but then that goal with a, what, a minute 28, a minute 29 left, that was enough to give him hope. And then you started to see the mechanics come out. Apparently, Jack, the double tap, that shot almost went in. Jorius cleaning it up, the precision shooting from Jorius. I mean, that was from yep. the last year's. We were talking about how Team Secret couldn't seem to find their mark. That's what finding your mark yep. looks like. You yep. saw the defender streaking in from the backboard, trying to defend as much of the net as possible. You shoot that in the middle, it's an easy save. But Jorius picked out that lower corner in OT. Yeah. That's what it takes. Great placement there from Jorius, and that was, he had a few more that were saved, but great shots coming out from the stretch, that defense, that's what's so important. Force him to use the boost, force him to get to the sides of the net so you can open up space, and he really did the, a good job there, and I think Dignitas as a whole, their attacks were very creative, which I think panicked that 0-1 eSports side, because you could really see them kind of start to back up. Yeah, and start to lose that boost, you yep. know, and you've got uh, players that can take it up, threaten the flip reset, threaten the double, you know, you just, you don't know what to expect. You play a little bit more timid, and you can't go out and collect that boost that you need. And this is good from Dignitas. We're really starting to see the form that I think people expected from them here in the wild card, at least from that game one. They look a little bit more like themselves. See if they can keep it going. Still, of course, a best of seven, as all series are. And a long road ahead if they're going to win this series. Austin in the corner, controlling it out. The pass out. Oh, oh it's my. gorgeous. What a save. It looks like Scrub Killer might have gotten to that ball in time. A goal line save. I thought that one was going in, Corelli. Good patience there from Dig. Staying with the play. Now the attack's on. Looking for this one across the box. Mossad makes a good clear. 0-1. Trying to get some offense going. And they were shut down halfway through game one. 
And they're showing it off here a little bit. This is Onyx running out of boost. And Dig, you can see every single touch, a lot of intention with Dignitas. They love to bring the ball down. And Jorius pushing it across the box. I don't think anyone expected him to come out so cleanly. It's still Dig. That possession is really paying off for them. Hey, Ems. Taking it down to the ground and booming it downfield. That beats Jorius. Scrub with a pinch up. Apparently, Jack. Sidewall. No go on the double tap. Zizonix breaking it out. Ams off the corner. Catches Mawson by surprise. And now they have to retreat a demo from apparently Jack. We've seen many demos at the midfield from Dignitas. Scrub. Uh. A light hit. That's Gave it away. That one's barred down and out. Rebound. Oh, Dignitas get away with one there, or will they? Oh, my. No, Whoa. they won't. Mawson overpowers them on the goal line. I thought that maybe Dignitas would get away, but that was true perseverance showing up from 0-1. And this all starts off with Scrub making a touch that I, that's why I went, uh, because I didn't know what he was trying to do with it. I couldn't tell if it was a pass or a missed touch because it was almost looking like a pass. And 0-1, again, taking advantage of Scrub's missed touches here and finally able just to dunk it through Dig. 0-1, on the board first, into the lead they go. Two missed touches from Scrub resulting in goals for 0-1. We saw it when he tried to pass it to the corner, passed it to Zizonix, and now, we see him give up one in game two. And that's great from 0-1. Dignitas, they're not perfect. They're going to make mistakes. And for them to take advantage and turn them not only into scoring chances, but to score is fantastic from them. Another scoring chance. Ams, light shot, rebound opportunities. The Zonix has that one bounce up to go. Apparently, Jack and Scrub both jumping for it, but Scrub is able to get to it. 51. Now, Jorius. Tipping out to the side. Mostyn, a touchdown, but that demo from apparently Jack prevents the shot. A good dunk there from Scrub to keep this one dangerous. Jack's got boost. Can he go all the way? He gets bumped into it. It goes over the net. Scrub trying to keep it alive. Bump comes out from Jorius, but this one going back towards the orange side. Boost versus Onyx. He gets over one. Over two. Scrub's got to stretch out and pinch. maybe a pinch. He'll oh. get through the net. The bunk up. Bump on Yim. And Dig, able to tie it up. Uh, Dig are bouncing back. It, it seems like when they're down and out, they just find a way to fight right back. Ams getting bumped by apparently Jack Scrub, recognizing the play. You knew that that's what they were going for. As soon as they saw that opportunity, Scrub, if he could get that pinch and that bump, it was going to be a goal. Well executed by everyone on that play. Great work there from Dignitas. They had, I thought for a second, hold on. Am's able to get one back here in 0-1 Esports. Respond quickly. Zizonix going in and just faking a challenge and scrub again a little bit too heavy of a touch and it gets back out into the hands of 0-1 for a quick shot. So we've seen that play out a few times. Scrub getting beat once more. Apparently Jack will have full corner boost and Scrub comes in to help. Mawson. Can't get it by Jorius. Ball stuck in the 0-1 corner. Scrub kill up. Coming up for a challenge. Does steal the mid boost, but gave up ground. Back to the middle. Apparently Jack lobbing it up high. Oh, going for the bump. The wow. shot from Jorius. It's going to be denied. Ams had to dodge the bump and get the save on zero boost. That was great vision from Ams. Now Mostyn, tough spot here. Jorius just high. Still Dignitas, every single touch is towards the net. A little flip reset, why not for apparently Jack as they tie it up. Apparently Jack has been out in front of the net waiting for his looks and Scrub got around that ball so nicely. Wow. Scrub had to get enough power. It was an awkward angle, but he really did great getting that out to apparently Jack in the middle. And honestly, apparently Jack made that little flip reset a lot easier than I think it looks. Tied up. The final minute upon us in Amps. Little flipper oh. set and the bump. Mossens there. Jorius comes streaking across to make the save. 0 1, though. They're a lot more deadly here in game two. And they're still threatening that one just off the backboard. Jorius the control. Zizonix to the air. Now going for a pinch. Scrub killer. They've been taking advantage of his touches. Looks like they might do it again. Zizonix, hard corner pass. Apparently, Jack, a weak hit. A high lob, Jorius, 23 boost, will wrap around. Scrub 
comes in to help out, and a nice tip from apparently Jack will buy some time. Am's happy to boom it, but it's straight into the hands of Jorius. Apparently Jack into the tackle, and now Am's. No boost. A race to the Dignitas corner. He'll just be deleted. Sazonix doesn't make contact. That was crucial for Scrub as he's able to get out now. And Dignitas trying to threaten. Another big clear. This one just over the head of Jorius. Mostyn trying to put something together for 0-1. Threatening here in the final seconds, and it will drop down for overtime. We have seen quite a few overtimes today, <laughs> Corelli. This series giving us another one. And that shot, Whoa. rebound out. Scrub kill is demoed. Apparently, Jack flips by it. Need on target. Is going oh. for the top corner. <laughs> he throttled that off the elbow and in a perfect shot. And he got all of this one. It says 54 miles an hour. But that's because I think the speed was taken off from the post in the corner there. And 0-1 Esports put him on the board. And a much better game through and through from start to finish. 0-1 was in this game. It wasn't just all the momentum back to Dignitas. And they really figured themselves out between games one and two and looked a lot better here. Much more complete game, as you're saying, Corelli. And Ams, that, oh, that last shot was wonderful. And then you look at the demos, <laughs> five single-handedly from Zizonix. My goodness. And I think for 0-1, you could really feel those demos because there's a lot more space for them to play with. And Dignitas, I know they actually turned one of their panic situations into a goal with that scrub pinch and then the bump from Jorius on, on Ams there. But uh, those demos, the physical play coming out from 0-1, I really think has been paying off. And that might have been the big difference maker here in game two because I don't really think they changed their play style up much. I mean, they were a little bit more consistent. The shots, I think, were a little bit better. But overall, that's something that teams ebb and flow throughout a series. 0-1, that physicality really pays off. It, it, it certainly paid off. And then I think, you know, looking at what has been working for Dignitas, those brief moments where they, they've started to have success, it was due to their, their mechanics and, and their ability to, to make really difficult shots, the flip resets, the double taps. They haven't been able to put that together, at least in that game in those final moments. But in the game one, they took it out a little bit late. They were in danger of losing game one. They weren't even in it until the last, what, minute and a half? So we'll see if Dignitas, who's been shaky, they've been struggling to get their feet under them. It still seems like that's the case, but we have now seen glimpses of what they're capable yeah. of. It definitely a little shaky from them, but I think that was a decent game from them. I don't think anyone's going to go back and say that was horrible from Dignitas. Apparently Jack wanted to just barrel through the 0-1 eSports defense. Here comes Torius again, looking for bumps. Scrub. You can see how fluid the offense is for Dignitas when they get it going. Everyone taking their turn on the blue side. Ams looking for a way out. And Scrub Killer quickly able to get after that one. Still Dignitas unrelenting here with the pressure. Jorius, another shot. Apparently Jack let it bounce up the wall. Waiting for the ball. Beckoning it into a flip reset. Ooh. And now apparently Jack half flipping out to try to keep possession. Steals the corner boost. Tons of pressure coming out from Dignitas. Shot from apparently Jack. Force two to go. Ams finds the ball right to it, uh, fall into his hands. Now off the backboard, Jorius kicks it out to the middle. Mawson to the backboard. Scrubs. Zizonics. Passes again to Zizonix. Zizonix will get it over to Ams, but Ams couldn't get it on target. Now Dignitas back the other way. Jorius, look at the shot. Look at the power and the placement as he puts Dignitas finally on the board here. And that's one of those plays that are telegraphed. You know what's coming, but you still got to stop it. Powered above the last defender. Excellent shot from Jorius. He's really a shooter here today. Another fantastic, well-struck ball from him. 73 miles an hour there. Still coming off the post. Great work from him, and Dignitas better for it. In the first minute and a half, 0-1. They've been smothered so far. Now apparently Jack trying to hop and skip through. Jorius, flip reset. And that one <laughs> it looked like it might have <laughs> hit him again. Came right back into him and still Dignitas somehow, even when the play breaks down on the first man, able to hold possession and keep the pressure going. And now apparently Jack up by himself. Amps able to turn it away. Malston. Couldn't get that out. Double commit to light lob off the crossbar. Oh. Back down. Apparently, Jack puts 0 1 out of their misery. They were struggling on this play. You saw the double commit. Wow. Mawson couldn't clear that out.
Tough play for 0-1. And great power there on that side flip. And when they scored this goal, you could see apparently Jack with the fist bump. We could hear him through our headsets. They're getting louder and louder as this series goes on. I think gaining that confidence. 2-0 up for Dignitas. Another block, Dignitas on the attack. Back to the corner, Mawson. And now Zizonix pinches out across the field. 0-1 have been stuck in their half for what seems like this first half of the game. Ams getting bumped on zero boost. <laughs> Patience from apparently Jack now going for the bump out of the air. The 50 on the goal line. Ams, does he have boost at all? It's like he finally got some. Now it's a shot opportunity. Ams flip reset. Apparently Jack getting up off the ceiling. And now a fake from Austin. Infield oh. pass, double commit from Dignitas. There's a demo, the shot, rebound, turning on it to Zonix. Can't wow. get there in time. Apparently Jack all on his own. Oh. Apparently Jack <laughs> with the solo play. There are so many great moments in just this single play from apparently Jack. The control off his own back wall. No boost to get downfield to keep possession of the ball. And then to put it through the last man. It's 3-0 Dignitas. And that was all apparently Jack. And there's that solo play potential that everyone on Dignitas has. Apparently Jack getting the job done. Double tap pass out. Apparently Jack was jostled by Zizonix and Jorius getting up in the air, getting the redirect. Yeah, he's looking good. We've talked about him so many times. Just the shooter today right now and another great touch there. It's 4-0 now for Dignitas. They've really just ramped up the scoring. Comfortable spot for them to be in here in game three. Comfortable indeed. We saw Dignitas come back when they were down with about this much time left, but they only had two goals to come back from. And now Jorius puts in a fifth. <laughs> he slotted that one this time. And 0-1 are really struggling just to hold on to the ball from their own side. I think they're trying to keep possession. But we've seen from both sides, really, so many fake challenges, so many fake touches that are coming out. It's really a, a crazy mental game happening here of players on the ball and the unpredictability that they're trying to throw. Unfortunately for 0-1, I think they just need to go. I think they just need to get downfield, take a challenge. You're down 5-0. Got to make a difference. You can't just play defense the whole game. And they've been just struggling for boost, Corelli. It seems like even when Dignitas has low boost. They find ways to, to get that extra flip reset, get that extra 50 to push the ball downfield and force or force 0-1 to use that boost for defense and have nothing left on the offensive side. I mean, this score line is really uncharacteristic and not really showing of what this series has been so far. I mean, blowing 0-1 out, Dignitas, that's not been the case. Dignitas has been quite shaky. Just everything's working here in game three. It's such a stark difference between uh, games three and two here. And we might see a sixth put in. Scrub kill it, taking this up to the sidewall. And you're right, Corelli. We, we, we've kind of looked at Dignitas to be the sleeping giant who's been, you know, perhaps sleeping too long. Alarm not waking them up. You'll wonder if they ever would. And then they have a game like this, and it just makes you wonder and we do see one back, one on the board for 0-1 Esports. They prevent the shutout, and they do get one for next game. A feel-good goal here for 0-1 Esports. They needed one, spent a lot of time on defense, and uh, down four goals with 26 seconds left. It's going to be a tall order for them. I think you're looking towards game four to kind of get things going. And I think after witnessing this game, Curly, you wonder, is this giant of Dignitas finally going to wake up? This showed what they had in them. The, the redirect yeah. from Jorius, the solo play from apparently Jack. This Dignitas team is full of weapons. Right, we asked Dignitas, you know, we're looking for a personality out of this team. We didn't get it yesterday when they played Optic. And I don't think we got it early on here in this series, but as it's developed through three games, as this ball will eventually touch the ground, I think Dignitas really showing off those mechanics that I think everyone expects them to have. Apparently Jack with a couple of good flip resets to put one away. Jorius with just great redirects here so far as well in this series. And just the power behind his shots. That's a mechanic in itself. And I think for Dignitas, everything's working. And smiles for Scrub Killer. I mean, we he's used to this world championship stage before. You know, he's he's won it all. He's yep. got to the finals another time. You know, he's he's a gamer. 
<laughs> He's a gamer and he came to game, but Jorius and apparently Jack, I think they stole the show. Oh, definitely. Five goals between them, Jorius with three and uh, six shots actually for both of Jorius and apparently Jack. And one stat that we pointed out for Zero One Esports was the physical game, only three demos across the board, one for each player. And they didn't really have a chance to. I mean, they were just so pushed back the entire time. And that unrelenting pressure and control that Dignitas showed us, that's the scary kind of sleeping giant that you're talking about. We got it here in this previous game. And now, I think this it really is the series for Dignitas to, to show whether they're going to be hot or cold. Yeah. They showed us what they're capable of. This is a chance for them to get revenge uh, against a team they struggled with uh, against Gamers 8 or at Gamers 8 when they were playing different format, but still it's an international tournament where you're really trying to bring your best game and they weren't able to rise to the occasion. And there's been so many doubters for this Dignitas squad, but both of us included with our prediction taking zero one over them. Right. But now, I mean, these games, they make you want to have hope in what this Dignitas <laughs> team can do. Yeah, yeah. You want to have hope, but they've got to close out the series. And that was a great single game from Dignitas. And they've had a couple wins here. See if they can string a couple together as Scrub. Can't get over that one as 0-1 already having a little bit more space to work downfield than they did in game three. See a little bump attempt as well. 0-1. Oh, that. I'm not sure if the defender got a piece of it, but that second touch sending it wide. 0-1. They didn't have much possession in game three. Game four, Dignitas, they're threatening. Jorius blocking out that ball in the midfield, but it bounces out to Ams. Oh. Ams rebound to Mawson, and Mawson will get the early goal for 0-1 Esports. And finally, a good look here for 0-1 Esports as they play that one off the wall. Ams with a great drive towards the net. Got apparently Jack to jump, and it's a tough save to make. Fortunately for Dignitas, it was shot right at him, but still weren't able to make it. And 0-1. Breaking through first here in a crucial go-ahead goal when they were, you know, struggling in game three to even generate offense past the halfway line. They were, they were beat down five to one. And now Scrub bar down. Is it going to go in? Rebound cleaned up by apparently Jack. Scrub knocked it off the crossbar. And apparently Jack has been playing cleanup crew. Wow. What a touch there from Scrub. And great touch by apparently Jack, as they're saying, cleaning that play up. And you can see all the confusion happening from 0-1 Esports. I mean, that's just a great play from Dignitas. There's not much more you can say. Putting away or getting that first touch and then putting away the shot, 0-1. You got to roll with the punches sometimes. And Ooh. another big save forced to come out. That was a double commit, and they're able to push it away. And it needed to be. One of them wasn't going to make it. Tip back, Ams. Now Jorius pushing this back towards net. 0-1. They're playing on the back foot once more. Finally, a clear comes out. Ams, shot opportunity, goes for net. And it's saved by Scrub Killer, who hits it out to the side. Demo from apparently Jack has Scrub in the middle, but apparently Jack going for the solo play. And Mawson will break that up. Great work there defensively from 0-1. You've got to stop those plays early as that one skates across the goal line. Mossa just going to punt Jorius downfield. Is Onyx there to take a challenge, but here's Dignitas whipping back around. Ams, his only choice to pop it up. Jorius, flip reset, looking to go down. Oh, Jorius was that? saved. Puts it away, but saved by 0-1. Three minutes left to play. And apparently Jack Hill just redirected in. Dignitas into the lead. Dignitas has been cherry picking these games. Jory has had the redirect scrub, had the one that went off the crossbar. Then you see apparently Jack faking out Moss and Moss and thinking he's going to have a clean hit on the ball. And apparently Jack tipping it right back into net. The cherry picking play works <laughs> once more. You look back towards that. Jorius flip reset shot that he had and Dignitas happy to see a goal come through. Now 0-1. Danger here for Dignitas. 0-1, someone's got to get there. It's played off the back wall, and unfortunately, a lot more innocuous than I think 0-1 wanted there. Seemed like that was going to be a goal, looking at Jorius's camera angle. Had to just sit and wait for that ball to bounce off the ground. Another demo. The Zonix, the one committing it. Jorius. Towards net, surprising Mawson. I don't think Mawson was expecting the shot. Just caught him out here. Jorius again, he's just sniping the 0-1 net. Well played here. 
And Scrub, I mean, if Mossen stayed on the ground, Scrub was going to punt them out of the way anyways. But he needed to jump even earlier. Yeah. Jorius, his shooting has been pinpoint accurate. And every single one of these goals, I'm looking at apparently Jack. Doesn't matter who's scoring. He's hype. He's screaming. He's looking at his teammates. He's saying, come on, let's go. Trying to get him amped up. We've seen Com have big success doing the same thing for his version one team. Got to get in it mentally. And right now, it seems like Dignitas does have the edge, or the edge in every category that you can think of so far. It's been a better game from 0-1, but a lot of these goals from Dignitas has just been spectacular as well. I mean, defensively, a lot of teams would give up some of the goals that Dignitas are, are putting away. It really is on 0-1 to kind of find that offense. A lot of times we say a good offense is a good defense because of how strong it is to push your opposition and keep them on their own side. And that's really what Dignitas has been doing here against 0-1. Scrub infield pass to Jorius! Jorius! Does this guy miss? <laughs> Not when his teammates set him up like that. Another 70 plus mile an hour shot. And Scrub with a perfect lateral pass 90 degrees across the box. Jorius, it's an instant goal every time he gets around it. Just keep feeding him. Jorius hitting his mark every time so far it seems. And now apparently Jack will have a play off the kickoff. Going airborne off the ceiling down to Scrub. Scrub shot will be denied off to the side. Now Jorius, happy to take this to the corner. Ams, slow play, a little too slow. Stopped by Scrub Killa. We are down to the final minute in the score line, very similar to last game. 0-1, looking for some semblance of offense. Now the bump. Oh, he saved it himself with a follow-up there from apparently Jack, and it's 5-1 dig. Dignitas have come out swinging. They they started off slow, but then once they got their footing, it was haymaker after haymaker. And these last two games were uppercuts right to the jaw of 0-1. Feels like everything is working for Dignitas at the moment. They can do no wrong here in game four. And really that was the story of game three as well. As Jorius now taking to the sky, flip reset inbound, and it's not enough to get through the defense. Apparently Jack bails on that one. Coming up on 30 seconds left. A very similar situation to the previous game. It's 0-1, hold on a second, gets one to go through and they're within three. 29 seconds left, they have to get three. It's gonna be tough, but possible if we see something quickly off the kickoff. Zonix had three defenders he had to work through and managed to do it without breaking a sweat, but time is of the essence. And that kickoff is not what they were looking for. It looked like there was some sort of plan, but it didn't go according to plan for 0-1. I think it went the wrong way for Zizonix there. Time ticking down, 0-1. A frustrating experience in the last two games. I think they had a lot more hope here in game four than in game three. But in the end, it's almost the same result. Dignitas able to put up five. Pejorius, unstoppable in the shooting department at the moment. And if I'm on 0-1, you've got to find a way to shut him down. And one more for the road. Scrub not able to put it home. And Dignitas says, why not? Let's just keep it up. Zizonix and 0-1 can do nothing about it. And they want it to hit. They want to get this next game there going. But That's a hat trick. That is, that is showing you the mindset of Dignitas right now, the killer instinct. They want to put 0-1 Esports down for the count. 6-2. to two. Last game, 5 to one outscoring 0-1 Esports 11 to three in these last two games. Dignitas might finally be hitting their rhythm. And let's hope so for all those Dignitas fans out there that were voting for them. I credit you for not giving up on them as maybe I did in our prediction right now. They look really, really good. And this is not the result that you would expect so far. They need one more game to close it out. 15 shots across the board. Dignitas perfectly even, five apiece. And two hat tricks. <laughs> Jorius and apparently Jack, you really don't see that too often, especially at a world championship event. Jorius and apparently Jack both getting a hat trick. Well done by them. Now, 0-1 Esports find their back 
against the wall. And what do you do in this situation? You you call a timeout. You try to figure out what to do. Because we saw them hanging with Dignitas early on. They got that overtime winner, that beautiful shot from Am's top corner. But mm -hmm. since then, it has been a struggle. And it's interesting because I think after game three, there was a lot of merit there to take the timeout. But now that back-to-back -back games have really not gone their way you're forced to take the timeout. It's your last chance if you don't win this one. So a lot of talking you can see between them. And I think it's very simple. I mean, you've just got to deny the boost from Dignitas. They have way too much time to play on the 0-1 eSports side. And I feel like for 0-1 eSports as well, when you do that, you're going to find a lot more uh, uh, fruit downfield, especially in the midfield and in that final third. Dignitas, though, how do you shut down a guy like Jorius at the moment? Especially with the way his teammates are feeding him. That's really... You're, you're almost at off. the mercy. You know, you you even saw the one play where Mawson was waiting to see what Jorius did on the sidewall, was ready. Of course, the bump attempt came through, but he still wasn't able to jump in time. Jorius slammed that top shelf. Then the infield passes from Scrub. We've seen Scrub set up his teammates a couple times getting that ball infield. And that one set up to Jorius, and Jorius slamming it over towards the post. And, and you're, you're kind of at the mercy of what Dignitas brings. It seems like the, the games where we've seen Dignitas struggle, they just don't have that. They don't have that. And in games, a series like these, you wonder, how did they lose? Joyce looks bored. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, man, I'm putting everything away right now. I want to get this over and done with. For 0-1, it looks like the, the chatting has stopped. Coach getting them ready, getting back into this one. And I hope they have a game plan to figure out Dignitas, as you were talking about, because it's their last chance. And you certainly don't want to go down the way they have. This is not the series that I think myself and a lot of people expected. At least you're one to put up a bit more of a fight. And right now, like you said, that sleeping giant, that beast within Dignitas really showing itself here. See if they finish the job though, Corelli. They could end it here on Wasteland, Dignitas. One game away. And this wouldn't be the end of the road for either team. This is a one and one match. Winner would move one step away from making it to the main event. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, he almost put it away. Great control there from Dignitas. And Jorius, the post, not kind to him this time. A scary start if you're on 0-1. Looking for control here, no boost, and that's not the touch I think you wanted. No one's there from 0-1. Scrub with full boost to play with. We'll take it all the way to the corner. Scrub again looking for a challenge. Jorius, awkward spot, gets beat on the dive. Apparently Jack trying to get over one. Ams is waiting. Apparently Jack did get a demo and is downfield, but Scrub couldn't get a big pass over to him. Still a chance. Scrub going low, rebound on the goal line, and it is cleared out. Dignitas. Almost made that counterattack work. Four good looks for Dignitas. 0-1. Having to play so much defense in these last three games. Scrub, another great touch across. Jorius strikes true once again for Dignitas. It's 1-0. Do not give Jorius a look. He will score it. Ams got the touch, but it's out to Jorius. He sees his window near post and he beats the defenders. Zero one could not get there in time. And you saw some scrambling there from zero one. Yeah, Amps looked like he kind of cut off Moss in there and they kind of skidded across each other. I don't know if either of them were gonna make the save, but like you're saying, you can see just some miscommunication, scrambled on their goal line, all bunched up. That's what happens, you run into each other, you slow each other down, you start to lose your pecking order on defense on who's gonna go. And Dignitas certainly taking advantage of that. On the respawn, Scrub comes off the side while Jorius up to apparently Jack. Jack off to the side, Ams clearing it to the 0-1 corner. And now hitting it downfield. Jorius hard off the backboard, up again. The read was a weak shot. Maybe that was the only time we've seen Jorius not really take advantage of a look, but that was a tough look to get much on. 0-1. How many times now, just in game five here, we've seen them just lob it up or just see it bounce away from their own side. Jorius will go again through the defense. It's like everyone's watching them, and it's 2-0 for Dignitas. And this is like they're in free play. Everyone going for flip resets. Jorius the flip reset into a block, making sure there's no exit for that ball. And we're seconds away from the half point of the game. 
Dignitas has this in control. Just, oh, oh hold on again. a second. No. Oh, hold on a second. Jarius does it once more. <laughs> he just is unstoppable. He just keeps going. A beautiful second touch off the wall. And what can I say? There's no one there from zero one. one I mean, of And course, beautiful first touch. He had like no boost. It had to be yeah. perfect. It had to bounce right back at him. From the very beginning of that play, Jorius, he knew what he wanted to do, and he put that ball away. Wow. This score, balloon to 3-0 now. And you really haven't seen much of 0-1. You start to get a little worried about them. Just for the rest of the wild card is Dignitas. Maybe they're just this good. They certainly are here in this series. Oh, that was a pre-jump shot play, by the way. Almost everything working for Dignitas. Scrub Killer will have to buy some time. First touch, trying to control it. Kicks out to Jorius. Jorius up to Scrub. Scrub can't make contact. But you're seeing 0-1 bunched up on their goal line. Possession heavily in favor of Dignitas. That demo, will it change things? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, 0-1 really need touches on the ball here. Demos are great, but if you're not holding possession, it's all for nothing. Now this one comes across the box, Scrub was cut out by a defender. Still dangerous, Jorius again gets over it. Apparently Jack went and he'll just go through. He knew he was scoring that before he got the touch and Dignitas 4-0. Five to one, six to two, and now four to nothing. Dignitas, I think it's fair to say, Corelli, this giant has awoken. Certainly here against 0-1 Esports. It was not the day for them yesterday. <laughs> but today is certainly a new day in Dignitas. Looking super clean here against 0-1. Everything in their favor. Apparently, Jack, another one. They're still screaming about it, and it's 5-0. And they're getting hyped, and for good reason. This is the World Championship, Corelli. This is what all these teams have been playing for all season long. The disappointment doesn't matter. It's out the window. Forget about it. If you can make it happen here, in Fort Worth at Dickey's Arena, that is what people will remember. If you have a chance, you've got to take it. And for Dignitas, despite what the critics have said, myself included, you've got to show up. And so far here today, and what's looking like the rest of this final minute, that is certainly true. And it bodes well for them as they move deeper into this wild card Swiss format. 0-1 though, you gotta go back to the drawing board right now. Completely blown out really in these last three games. And I mean, what, how do you take it? It seems like they were playing well at the beginning. They were hanging with Dignitas, but then when Jorius just wasn't missing, they just got behind and couldn't find a way to fight back. Again, I think Dignitas really showing off what they're about when they're having a good day, when they're on. Jorius with the shooting, but also the passing and challenges coming out from Scrub and apparently Jack. And that flip reset solo play potential. You saw yep. it out of Jorius getting the flip reset, taking it into the block. They all have such incredible 1v1 instincts and also the ability to close out those 1v1 plays. Dignitas, there's been some questions. I think we got a few answers. <laughs> Will they get one more for the road <laughs> like we saw in game four? They do like to keep it up here at zero time. That one will drop. It will be Dignitas 4-1 over 0-1 Esports. And what a series that was from apparently Jack and Jorius in particular. We saw the this, this solo play from apparently Jack where he's coming down on a counter attack all by himself, makes that play happen earlier this series. The flip reset, double tap that led to a goal. Then the precision shooting from Jorius, another hat trick for Jorius throwing up the stats. I cannot wait to get my hands on the box score yeah. of this series. This was a stat galore series for Jorius. A, a silly stats coming out from Jorius in particular in the scoring department, but for Dignitas here, this is a fantastic win for them. They proved people like myself who said, I, I don't even think this is gonna be close because I don't I'm not, I don't believe in them anymore, but they've really hopped back on the horse. The key to Dignitas now going forward, can they keep this momentum, especially against stiffer competition? That's really what I'm looking at if I'm cheering on this Dignitas squad. You know, it's it's a whole different tournament nowadays, Corelli, than the double elimination brackets that we used to have back in the previous World Championships. But we have seen some pretty crazy runs from teams that got knocked down into the lowers and then find their rhythm. 
and now with this format, you've got the Swiss to groups to that playoff. You have time for these teams to take those losses, to hit their rhythm, yep. and to find their form. And this series, it seemed like Dignitas really found their form. And you asked me, was it take from Dignitas uh, for me to believe in them again? This is the type yeah. of series that you want to see from them to just blow out the competition. They gave up one game, but in the end, you can't blame them. Dignitas, they played a phenomenal series here. So do you believe? I believe a little bit more. <laughs> a little bit more. So <laughs> I guess it's going to take one more victory to do it. If they get that one more victory, they'll be heading to the main event. We're going to go to a quick break, but when we come back, more Rocket League World Championships.